Brady Heslip joining us on the show. Uh, when did you hear about uh, the conversation I was having with Reggie Miller yesterday on the program about you? Um, I heard about it after practice, actually. I, I had just got out of practice, and, uh, you know, one of my old coaches had uh, sent me a message saying that you guys were talking about me, and, uh, you know, that, that was pretty cool to hear that Reggie Miller was talking about me. All right. So um, how deep is your range here? Just to let people know if they haven't been able to see the video here, what, what's the line where you go, I'm out too far? Uh I don't know. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> you just got to go off feel. If I'm if I'm feeling it from that distance, then I'll I'll let it go. But you know, I think once you get closer to the half court, it might be a little too far. Okay, but I love it when it's a two on one, a three on two, and you decide to just pull up from deep three. Like you're <laughs> you're allowed to do that, right? Yeah, you know, I I have a lot of freedom within this team. So uh, luckily, I make those, or else it would look like a pretty bad shot. If I gave you a hundred threes, and you're just shooting, just practicing. How many do you make? Uh, on a regular day, somewhere over 85, probably. So 85 out of 100. You shoot better from three-point range than two-point range here, Brady. Why? I know. I don't know what's going on right now, but uh, <laughs> that's just the way things are going right now. If I said you could have uh, an open layup or an open three? The three's better than two. No, oh, there you go. I like that. Uh, have you talked to Steve Nash, fellow Canadian? Uh, yeah, actually, I have. Uh, I talked to him quite a bit. I had dinner with him in, on Saturday after my game in L.A. And uh, what kind of advice did he have for you? Um, he's been great for me just, you know, being like a, a big big brother mentor to me the last few years. And, you know, he told me just to, to keep doing what I'm doing um, and, you know, show the, the scouts and NBA teams that I can do other things and, you know, kind of show them things that they're looking for. So he, he gave me kind of insight into that. How would you describe your athleticism, your athletic build? Um, I would say that I don't come across as the most athletic person, but um, I think that uh, I'm deceptively athletic. I have long arms. I have big hands. I, I mean, I can dunk a ball easy. Uh, but, I mean, overall, I just that's something that I'm working on in the off season, you know, with my strength training and speed and agility. But if you walked into the building, I would, I would think if we were playing a pickup game, you'd probably be the guy that you know, guys would want to guard because they think they're going to have an easy afternoon, right? Yeah, I'd agree. <laughs> <laughs> would you want to guard you if you saw you walking into the gym? Uh, yeah, me being me, I probably would. <laughs> and then you got David Stockton as your point guard. Have you talked to his dad? Has John given you any advice? Uh, no, actually, I haven't. I haven't talked to him, but uh, me and David have gotten really close since we've been playing out here, and it, it's been really fun playing with him. Um, and you guys work well together. It's fun to watch that. But you, so, does Sacramento own your uh, draft rights? Uh, no, actually, I, I spent the preseason with Minnesota, and I was released from their training camp. So right now, I can be called up by any team. All right, what's the possibility here, Brady? Um, I, I don't know right now, you know, I, I'm just kind of taking it day by day. I'm, I'm working on my game here every day. Um, uh, you know, go back after practice, do some extra workouts, um, just really doing everything I can and everything that I did, you know, up to this point to just keep getting better and be ready for when the, if the opportunity comes. And I didn't, I saw some of this at Baylor. I just didn't remember your career there. Yeah. Um, you know, I, Unfortunately, as it is, you know, I didn't have as much freedom here as I I did at Baylor. Uh, I mean, I have more freedom here than I did at Baylor. But, you know, overall, those Baylor teams were pretty good teams. You know, I I played for three years. We went to Elite Eight, a Sweet 16, and an NIT championship. Um, but yeah, on a year by year basis, there I would have I would have enjoyed a little bit more freedom. All right, let's be honest. Could you win the three point shooting contest this year in the NBA? Uh, I don't know. You know, those are some great, some best shooters in the world there. Um, Brady, you got to go Larry Bird here. You got to say, yeah. you guys, you guys are playing for second. That's the way you got to yeah. approach this. I mean, if I was in it, I, I would think I'm going to win. My, my record in three point contest is not bad right now. Have you beaten anybody of any, you know, renown? Uh, I haven't had a just a normal one, but the last three point shootout I was in was the college one at the end of last year, and I won that. So, all right, I've got you uh, at winning the three point shooting contest next year. I like it. All right. 
Uh, don't disappoint me on Friday night when you play Idaho because I'll be watching. All right. That, that sounds good. All right. Uh, good luck and uh, congrats, Brady. Thank you very much. All right. Brady Heslip of the Reno Bighorns of the D-League. We're all in on Brady Heslip. We're so ahead of the curve on this guy. I know. Yeah.